I threw a monster party last Halloween night and invited all the monsters for a fun October fright. While the Monster Mash deals with a mad scientist surprised with an unexpected party, this song deals with a mad scientist trying to get a party going and failing. And as a result, this song is much more relatable than the real Monster Mash. I headed to the dance floor, ready to get down, but all the monsters just were sort of standing around. It was a lame monster party. Hey guys, come on. It was a lame monster party. Doesn't anybody want to dance? It's a joke that seems so simple, but it's just so clever, and it's like, I can't believe it took this long for a comedy writer to flip the Monster Mash on its head by just making the party realistic. Branson, Wolfman argued macroeconomics with Charlie Manson. When Jason wasn't droning on about Scientology, he talked in painful detail about his vasectomy. I think we've all been to parties like this, and uh, every specific just feels so real and just gets better and better. And the fact that they're paired with monsters doing it is just the icing on the cake. How about karaoke? The monsters were boring and the party really sucked and nobody had any fun. Plus there's the added joke of the population of this party. Paul and Storm don't just stick with all the public domain monsters that Universal used in their movies. No, they go with all sorts of monsters from all over history, both real and fictional. Checking his MySpace account. Leatherface who showed up drunk, kept hitting on the witches, and cornered everybody with his Amway sales pitches. The creature from the Black Lagoon was out in the yard debating with Godzilla about Kirk and Picard. Here's the thing, I know if I was at this party, I'd be one of the boring ones. I'd just be in my corner checking my phone or working on the script for the next video. You can bet I won't do that again. Next Halloween, just me and Igor down at Bennegan. I'm sorry, Doctor, I would not be a boon to your party.